now I will show you how to remove the seats from the car. So first step, you have to remove the trim pieces uh, from the A-pillar. Okay, so this is just a clip and there is a channel that you can slide up. Then there is a, a push pin here. Uh, you can use a finger or use uh, uh, some tool to remove it. It is just a push pin. You just uh, uh, pull it like this and you can release it. Then you can remove this piece. Okay. And now I will move the chair all the way back until it exposes the two screws here and there. And then I will use a screw driver T45 to remove it. And the same on the other side. After we have removed the two T45 in the front, we move the seats all the way to the front. And then we remove the two T45 at the back. There is a T20 below the seat. Uh, make sure you can fill it because if you lower the seat, um, you cannot fill it uh, from the bottom. You have to adjust the seat until you can see the T20. Okay, now uh, I can see the T20 inside, but I cannot fill it. I cannot touch it uh, anyways. I have to move the cushion upward until uh, the T20 is exposed to me so I can remove it later. So now I can fit it, I can stop it, and I can take the seat out. Now I have to remove the seat, uh, seat belt from the seat. Uh, I have to lower the uh, seat so uh, the length of the wire will be longer. So I have more space to twist it and use the special tool, insert it. And take it out. So now uh, we need to uh, remove the door connector. So we need to pry out this first. I'll just use my fingernail. Yeah, uh, or you can use a pry tool. Okay, so if you follow this wire, this is the door connector. So you need to remove it. And uh, it's very th difficult to take a video on how to remove it. So I'll try to remove this first and I'll show you. So you need to click on a tab and then pull out the lever and then you can just disconnect it. So here, you can see this one. If you push it inward and then you can pull this out and after that the whole connector will come out. And there's some uh, uh, tab here. You need to take it out from tab. From tab. So. Uh, you can use brute force or just use some uh, screwdriver and and take take out the thing uh, let me get a tool and then show you how to do it so this is the door cable so we we'll, we'll do it like this like this this so here is the first tab so just use some pry tool some people will just use brute force to, to take it out uh, it's okay i think but uh, let me try to use some tool to, to do it, you have a tap on both sides. Yeah. So after you insert it, it, it can be come out easier, or you can just use brute force, but you, norm, it will damage the the tap here. So, so then uh, there's another one here. Um, so I will use the same way. Uh, this one is easier. It's not a a tap thing, so you can just pull it. So you can see this one is simply pull. There's no tap. So uh, you can just pull it out uh, in here. Uh, this is for Model Y. For Model 3, it might be a different, but uh, it's similar. It's just uh, uh, see whichever, which type of tab you have, and then you can just pull it out. And then I work on the last one, and then we can take out the whole harness. So we have taken out the whole harness. I just do a little pull here, and then the whole harness can come out. Now I can remove the, the chair. Uh, there's uh, tips on how to remove the chair without damaging 
the area here. So let me show you. With one hand, grab into the seat from here, and the other side, just, just grab it like here. Then we flip over. So we pull it like this. So we rotate the seat outward and then make sure you uh, go out and clear the car and then just take it out. Okay, this way you won't scratch the car. But if you're worried, you can put some protection around this area, this area and this area. And if you are working on the driver's side, make sure you adjust the steering wheel all the way up and inward so it gives you more clearance when you remove the, the car seat. So we need to take out the headrest first. Uh, the trick is you need to have two small uh, flathead screwdriver or some kind of needle here. Uh, uh, so I'll, I'll show you. Uh, if you just try to stretch, the, stretch down here, you can see that there's a metal clip here. So I insert my tool. So you see, I inserted my tool into here. Try to zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yes. So here, I, I try, I can release the clip like this, but don't overdo it, yeah. Just do it slightly, but you need to do it on both sides. So let me show you the other side too. So try to stretch down here, and you can see it from here. Yeah. So I insert here. And now I can just pull it slightly up, see if the clip get unlocked. If not, just try to do it again. Just do it both sides. Trickle it. Trickle it. Yes. You can see that this is the lock. So if I pull it a little bit, uh, it will get unlocked and I can take out the whole safe thing. After you raise it, uh, the back rest, back, co back cover can be removed. Sometimes you need to jiggle it, sometimes it automatically fall out. So you can see this lock into here, once you raise it, it can come out. But sometimes it's, it's stuck and you need to jiggle it out, it can fall out then. Yeah. So now we flip over the chair and then we work from the bottom. So we have multiple things we need to do. First, we need to take out the seat cover. Uh, for Model 3 and Y, the old 3 and old Y, here there's a, a clip, so it's just, you can just try to loosen it, just push out, it's just a hook, and push out from here, and you can loosen up the whole back, back cover, so just, just unhook it, just push downward a little bit. And then you can take out. For Highland, for Highland, the, the clip looks a little bit different. It's hooked into here, but it's the same idea. You unhook it, and then you can take out the cover. After that, we will need to disconnect the the silk, uh, the gray connector, the green connector. This is the heated uh, heated pad for both the backrest and the seat cushion. And we also need to remove the seat sensor. So the seat sensor, we can take it out. It's for easier for removal. So take out from the uh, from the stand and then just just simply pull this two outward make sure you grab the connector and not the cable side or otherwise the the cable can be uh, uh, can be broken so we normally grab the both side of the connector and pull it out yeah and then we unhook it from here as well so it's a hooking mechanism here so we just unhook it and then we also need to take out these two connectors, just push it downward. Yeah, push it downward. Now everything is loosened, and then we need to take out this as well. This is a hooking mechanism as well. Just pull down, and then you can unhook it. Pull down, and you can unhook it. Yeah, so that's basically what you need. Oh, one more thing. Uh, remember uh, when we took the video, we show you uh, how the T20 need to be shown. Uh, now we will take out the this this cover. So we will grab our T20. 
let me show you I, I'll pull up a little bit here you can see that there's a T20 here you just need to remove it after we remove it we can take out the cover uh, uh, and unplug the connector for the seat control so now this is just a clip you can just pull it out yeah this is just a clip and then you can unplug this connector so uh, first we will unhook this first uh, but you can see there's a cable tie here uh, what this is this is the lumbar support uh, module connector uh, this is uh, this is a passenger seat and Tesla removed the function so but they still leave the connector here so we just cut the cable tie first yeah otherwise it will affect our installation you can tie it later so now we can pull up and then unhook it and here is the same you can see there is some hook just unhook it pull up unhook unhook yeah same for the other side unhook everything yeah unhook from here and unhook from here okay so now then we need to unhook all these things upward so we just grab our seat back into this position so I can unhook this unhook here unhook here unhook here unhook here and unhook here you can see that uh, there's one airbag here uh, if you are a left hand drive car it might be here if you are a driver's seat car you might have both uh, but the idea is the same there are two 10 millimeters bolts here you can see it try to unbolt them uh, and, uh, yeah unbolt them so let me try to unbolt it from here and both both of, of, the, of them fully unbolt them after you unbolt them uh, then you can take out the whole upper backrest cushion uh, we have removed the, the two bolts so we just take it out remove the connector here you just pull this outward and it release like this so pull the outward pull the black ring outward then you can unplug the connector after this you can take out the whole seat cushion so let me try to do it so just pull pull the outward here is uh, comes to the most difficult part of the install uh, in my opinion so we we, uh, we need to remove this uh, the seat cover uh, no seat cushion uh, and the way to remove it is to unhook the free side this side this side this side so let's start with the front side so this is very quite easy you can just pull it and then you can just unhook this so it goes this channel go into here so you just take it out like rotate it and it can come out the most difficult one is the side after you remove one side the other side will be easy so you take out the cover here as you can see from here we will start from the edge so the trick is to rotate it So it's out. So then we can pull it, pull it, pull it. So this is the most difficult part. So but after you remove this side, then you can just push the cushion all the way to the other side. Then it will help to release the whole thing easier. So let's try to move to here. Then here will be a lot easier. So the trick is like this. Then you just lie this outward. Or I'll help use a tool to help it. Okay. Yeah. 
after you take out, you can just pull it all the way around. And then the, the rest of it. So yes, this is the most difficult part. Remove it is very difficult. Putting it back is less difficult. That's, but yeah, yeah uh, manageable. Uh, so if you want to uh, install the fan to it, uh, we'll provide this one for you. Uh, let me take out this. You will we'll have uh, this one to replace it. Uh, uh, or you can drill a hole, but we'll, we'll provide this for you. So you don't need to drill a hole uh, to the back plate. So, uh, uh, unplug everything from this uh, uh, back plate. So, let me try to unplug this connector as well. Okay, uh, if you have a lumbar support, you will have more uh, uh, things around here, but you just undo them uh, from, from, the, from the frame. It's a 10 millimeters, uh, so we just loosen it. And the whole plate can come out. Yes. And then we can just replace it with our frame, align to the tool hole, and then go all the way up. And then just do it like this. And then just re secure it. So it's very easy. Yeah, very easy. Uh, but Sorry, this cable, I need to put it back. Let me try to yes. do it back in cable management. Yeah. So I just put it back here, put it back here, and then just re-screw really here. Uh, yeah, um, model uh, Tesla have two different color of this uh, frame. One is the yellow one, the old version one, and one is the black one. Uh, most of them is uh, compatible, but the lumber ECU uh, might not be cooking. In that case, you just tie it here. Yeah. This is the, 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 the secured uh, uh, where the module sit on. But the new version uh, module is different from the old one. So if you have a black one and you fit into this one, your module might not fit into here. Then you need to just tie it here. So uh, here is the uh, seat cushion. Uh, we, uh, if you have a pre-built version, uh, this will be built for you. Uh, otherwise, you need to assemble it yourself. But then uh, it's already finished, so we just try to place it uh, to install the ventilator seat. Uh, we just briefly uh, put it back into the frame. Um, so camera from go to here. Um, if I flip it upward, try to place this around from behind, push the seat a little bit forward. So this wrap around the frame, yes, like this, push it, yes. So this is how the seat will be placed. So now I want you to do a mark. So uh, we need, if you want to install the ventilator seat, uh, we need to uh, mark the location of the fan. Uh, for the seat cushion, we'll try to place the uh, fan in this area. So you just mark a little bit here around this circle. Just try to mark it. And then we'll try to cut the hole from here. Yeah, uh, also pay attention if you put it here, the seat sensor will need to move it a little bit on the side, otherwise it will it will it will block it. So we'll move it here a little bit, um, so that it will not block it. But yeah, uh, no worry. When you receive your kit, we'll uh, do everything for you before, so you don't need to worry about the seat sensor. We'll place it in a good good location. So just try to uh, uh, make sure your your um, fan holder sit into here, and then draw a circle. And then later on, we will put the fan, the fan here. We will just secure it like this. Yes. Okay. So 
so uh, you can see I already placed it here the seat sensor might a little bit blocking so I cut a little bit here maybe I'll cut a little bit more to give it room to go the cable here so now everything is good uh, the sensor is happy my uh, stand is happy everything is good so we will now uh, install the seat cushion uh, so make sure the heating cable since uh, heating pad cable is all the way down here and this this need to go around here so we'll just try to push the cushion inward push down and pull it from here yes okay yes that's good that's good that's good that's good so Okay, so you see, like this, that's good. Then we'll just put the seat down. And then we'll wrap around this two thing. But before that, for the fan, try to make the, 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 the fan stand go through the wire here. So after you uh, uh, place the seat properly, uh, you also need to pull this two thing from here into here. Yeah, just make sure it's under the seat and then you can just set it back on. Then now we can do the, uh, do the free hooking here. So we start with one side, push from the end to the other end. Yes. So this side is secured. Let me put it back on. So here is just a side cover. So let me just yes. And then we do this side. Like I said, uh, uh, putting back on is easier than, than uh, removing it. And the last side here, we also start with from the back. Because the back is more difficult to sit on. And then after it sit on, we just press it against here and here and eventually here. So it's secure. Yeah. So to install this tube, you first put this in and it will insert from here, just try to pry it slightly, just slightly, yes, after that, we push down until together with the frame, yeah, and then if you push down more, it will clip, uh. next we will put on our pre-built back cover cushion into here, so we go through this and just slide this against between the silver frame and the black frame so just insert it here uh, and then we'll work on the downward first uh, on the bottom first yeah so so we just try to put everything into the back with our hand and then we'll flip over and show you so here uh, make sure the uh, heat uh, sensor no, heating pad Connector is is pulled all the way in in the back, not on the side. Yeah, so so we just pull everything out from the bottom. Just try to secure everything here. Let me try to pull everything I can first. Uh, I pull everything I can pull, and here. And I will just try to make sure the seat cushion, the back rest cushion, you will wrap around this this edge. So I'll just continue pulling it. Okay, so we have done doing this. Uh, the, the key idea is you need to make sure this one comes out from the 
from the bottom and this foam wrap around the edge here so after that uh, everything is good then we just try to fit around here, here. So, and do everything like what we did before Okay, so we will try to insert the clips uh, like this and also on the other side. Okay, and just follow the clips all around the ladder. Okay. Okay. And then this one, you push it, and I will just clip it here. Okay. Side. Now on the other side, we'll just try to do a little bit first because we haven't put on the airbag yet. Yep. Yeah. So we'll clip on the top first, and then we'll work on the airbag, and then put the airbag. now we'll take out the existing airbag from the old old, old seat. So just try to push it up. Push it up. So we'll transfer it over to the new seat. So now we'll put the airbag into the new seat. Uh, it might be easier if you put it before you put the seat cushion onto the frame. Yeah, uh, there'll be more space to work on. Uh, we forgot to do it in our video. So now we are suffering. So we need to insert it all the way down. Yeah, uh, we take some time, but uh, manageable. Yeah, so we'll show you after we in fully insert the, the, the airbag into it. Uh, you need to cut a hole here, here, and also in the bottom uh, for the connector to connect it back. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, first, we'll try to connect the, the airbag first. Just align it and then click. Make sure it's secured, uh, otherwise the car will give you a little bit. And then now we insert the two frat back into the hole on the frame. Try to do it in the right angle. Yes. And then we just reinsert the, the nuts and secure it. So now we can just insert uh, the fan uh, stand, uh, the stand that, that put on the fan on into the into the hole. Make sure you wrap around it. So after we put in the uh, the stand, uh, then we can just secure the fan into here. And then rotate it so that the connector face downward. Step is optional. I'm just doing uh, extra security for the fan. So just do some uh, cable tie to tie them up. Uh, so it's just optional, but yeah. So now let's start to work at the bottom again. So try to pull these two together and hook it, hook together the two pieces. So just try to hook them together. Make sure you align all the way and then you can 
Yes. I secured it. And next, we'll connect the connector back. So I pull this down a little bit. And then I can just re-secure into this original location. So here we are lacking a little bit of length. Uh, so we'll just cut a channel here. So, so just try to cut the extra length for the for the cable to go. So yes. Or well, if you cannot hook it back, it's okay. But yeah, I, I just prefer to hook it back. So now it's secured, um, and then we can connect everything back together. The C sensor is here. Uh, so we'll just leave it like this. Yeah, because it's do not have the enough length to be hook it, hook it hook back up here. And then we we'll just connect back here. Try to work a little bit here. And if you can secure it, I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, and then we can just connect this two together yeah and make sure you put the fan stand back to here make sure the rest is inside the cover Hook this back up. Put it one side at a time. Yeah. Now put it here. Pull it down. Pull it down and then settle it. Yeah. So it's all set here. The fan. We'll put it now back on now. Now we'll do the final step, uh, connect the longer side of the uh, connector to the fan and uh, the shorter side, uh, shorter side together with other bundle to the bottom fan. Um, uh, one thing to note that is that you can find uh, two similar cables both with a pair of green connector and the gray connector. One has more connector like this. This is for the left side of the car. The other one with just this and this um, is for the right side of the car. So, so we'll connect. This one is the left side of the car. So we'll just do the long, uh, the the, the uh, bigger harness. So we'll flip the seat to the bottom. So I already connected to the bottom fan, and now we'll do the rest. Um, so. I'll just unplug here again. Yeah, if you do the fan related seat, you need to connect our bypass cable. It's for the relay, so to control whether you want the heater seat or the ventilator seat. So, and then we'll do the other side. So, you can tie the cable here together with the other thing. Yeah, just do some cable management here. And then for this one, we'll connect to the ECU. So, and this is the ECU to control whether it gives you a heater seat or ventilator seat. So we secure this two connector. Um, for Model 3, uh, for Model Y, we can tie it here. 
but for model 3 uh, uh, we suggest to just put it on the floor uh, because like uh, there's very little clearance so uh, it's better to just hang it there so it will not be squeezed uh, um, but yeah for model Y we tie it here and then we do some cable management here and then uh, we will uh, have two more connector left uh, and this is what I talk about on the left side uh, of the car you have two connectors on the right side you only have one connector uh, left but yeah so uh, we'll do everything uh, tidy up here and then we'll just uh, go back to the car and show you how to do the remaining of the connection so now we'll put on the bash here so this is just hold by three clips yeah just try to uh, align them properly and here you need to just put the thing aside a little bit and then just push it in just do it one by one and for the headrest we just put it into this we just have two clips here just align them and then just secure it so uh, we'll work from the bottom for this piece uh, I'll just try to push up a, a little bit to expose the hole here or align the hole here first yes and then I'll just align the other hole so here is secure so let's try to do the other side yeah I, I haven't pushed it through but uh, this one is already secured and I just need to do the other one so here I just push it down here okay yeah it's, it's secure well, for this one maybe try to, yes yeah you can hear the click sound which is good and I will just wait for the other side to click yes click click yeah and then here finally you just push down to click it yeah yeah, uh, there's a little two hole here. Uh, I think enlarging them a little bit will help you to to tighten it. But now it's it's all good. You can see it's very secured and very well done. Last thing you need to do is put back on the back cover. Um, there's two hole that you need to align first. Yeah, we need to push in here, push up, and then secure the two piece here. So it's different from uh, the lot uh, the con conventional way, convention way. So. We just align the two hole. You can uh, align it from the bottom. Just try to take a look. After you slide in, you cannot pull it upward. So then we can just slide and push upward until the two tab here goes to the hole. So this step is for ventilator seat. Uh, if you don't uh, do the ventilator seat, you don't need to do this step. Uh, yeah. So uh, we need to uh, connect the can in the in the behind the center console. So we just remove this cover. You can you can grab it or you can use the pry tool uh, or Allen has key. Just pull it. Yeah. And then it can come out. And then now we unplug here and then connect to a uh, bypass connector the other side pop that in and then we'll set it like this and there's a wire here we'll go to the left side of the car so what i usually do is i have some uh, uh, fishing tape uh, to go from here and i run all the way to here so just like this and just place it here and next you have a long cable we'll go from here to the other side so I just fish uh, from here to the other side of the car so uh, it's, it's a lot easier what you do is just place it here and then after I remove the seat on the other side I will just be able to get it from this hole yeah, it's very easy to touch it yeah, because I can get from here to the opposite side easily yeah with my hand inside
or, or use a fishing tape, yeah, of course. Yeah.